Welcome to Pint Defiance, my old hangout. Here's what we've got at our favorite store. <laughs> and just FYI, that's incline cider, but there's baked uh, cranny granny from Dee's Wicked. Eagle Mount is from our own um, area. Oh wow, look at all the cans we've got. Baked apple, green apple, choppy poppy. Thistly is an amazing Scottish cider. Blackthorn, of course, being Irish. Alter Ego is the brute is from Portland. It's awesome. We've got two Polish ciders there on the left. Eagle Mountain's on the right. That's right here from the peninsula. Dear God, now we're into CBD, cider, er, sparkling alcohol. Schaffenhofer, of course, and the Stiegel Rattlers. Those are amazing. Stiegel being my favorite. More Lindemans on the left. <laughs> Becky really loves the evil twins. More dragon's milk. The Abraxas is supposed to be good, but that is $25 a bottle. Uh, more Boulevard. Lost Abbey is good. I don't think I've had any of the... Oh, I've had Judgment Day. I don't think I did the Serpent's Out that one time, but I had a chance. I think I skipped it by... Uh, Breakside Arlegarg, but none of its subfires. Caldera Mowgli. Oh, that's the cheapest I think I've ever seen it. Ooh, there's the gigantic, most, most premium bourbon barrel aged stout. That is amazing. We just had it on tap at Peaks and Pints. Hey, Becky, there's the gigantic, most, most premium. We're taking one of those and aging them right now. That's not even a question. P Freem's on the right. I don't even know if they release it in your area. Oh, that's interesting. They have a pop top for the bourbon barrel on the left. Normally it's a cork. <laughs> Ale song's really good. I've got a handful of their stuff aging, but I can always grab it fresh. Brew 5.3 again. I have a friend who lives in Arizona, and he does beer podcasts, and I'm coming on as his cider slash barrel-aged imperial guy. Well, those are two